Climate change is accelerating the erosion and salinization of land needed for food production. Bolstering food security is a priority of epic proportions. I met with the world's first minister for food security to find out what the United Arab Emirates is doing to address this existential issue. How do you enable the citizens of a country to have access of safe, sufficient, nutritious, affordable food at all times? So all the technologies that we're testing in our harsh environment is basically what we want to um, expose and help others with. We have the sun, the sea, and the sand. And if we can grow food using the three S's, which are abundant here, we have a solution for the world. Here at the International Center for Biosaline Agriculture in Dubai, scientists are researching the most resilient super crops and other solutions to help farmers in the harshest conditions improve their yield. We are an international non-for-profit organization. We provide technologies, solutions to the least income countries. We have to make the cost low enough so those smallholder farmers in least income countries can afford. Simple solutions like this mimic natural ecosystems at minimal cost. It's a kind of farming system that combines agriculture and aquaculture. We are looking into how we can provide to the communities nutrient-dense uh, systems that are climate resilient. We have the fish, which provides good protein. We have the vegetables. We have these highly salt-tolerant plants that can have various uses. But it's not all low-tech. ICBA also uses drones in its research. You can assess the soil characteristics, the slope, the topography, to understand the drainage system, to understand the irrigation system. We can see very interesting characteristics of the vegetation and of the soil in the same time. So we get like, you know, precision of two centimeters. So every single seed, we can see it. Key to helping farmers in arid regions is finding crops that can produce reliable yields in salty, hot and dry environments. That's where the gene bank comes in. There are around 400,000 plant species on Earth, of which 30,000 are palatable. But currently, in our food system, we're only using 150 crops. So the idea was to collect these seeds and to screen them and to see which ones could be used for our food security. Initially, we were looking at desert climates, but now with global warming and climate change, more and more environments will become like this. One crop really stands out. Quinoa in the Mayas, they call it the miracle crop. And we have introduced it in about easily 10 countries ourselves. So from Yemen to Jordan, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, and many other countries. Quinoa comes from Latin America, but it has very unique properties in that it withstands higher levels of salinity, it can uh, withstand drought, it needs about half of the water that wheat would require or barley would require, and it's very nutritious. It's not just quinoa that's yielding incredible results. Salicornia, or sea asparagus, is like the holy grail of crops because it can be irrigated with seawater. Salicornia is a fascinating plant. It can grow in desert environments. It can even be irrigated with purely seawater. There are some studies currently running on the biofuel potential of salicornia seeds. If we are to secure our food supply in a future transformed by climate change, it's the biodiversity of nature that holds the key. Thank you.